shapes in the sea, each migrant movement, borderline of touch, continuous waterway, we meet in our hands, our shapes in the sea, each migrant movement, borderline of touch, in the wind, in waves, the moon, in tide, where no one plants their flag, without a cage. Winter Minutes 
Souls are exhaled from moist things. Heraclitus. The sea has chilled and cockled this book. Words migrate through its pages. Both doors of the chalet are open. The horizon a lightly tapped tuning fork. There's nothing to record but your absence. A tiny spider, auburn legged, light to sea foam, sews along the table's aluminium edge. I write in absentia, snow on the sea. Twenty sixth of September, two thousand and eleven, twelve thirty to one PM. Your wake complicates mine. Our footprints dream in the tide. One way, a castle, Ferris wheel, lighthouse, the Grand Hotel, a brick mirage. The other, a Jurassic. Cliffs, crumbling book of the unwritten. Waves hold us as they have held sight before. Gulls hunt eels as if we were not here. Swimmer's way. Voices, cold wetsuits, salt sticky towels, hearts dropped from teapots, cakes crumbled, sand swept. Okay, everybody, let's and out past the sea rose, laden with children and bees, down through the shelter, its white growths, kelp slack as roadkill, a voice shouting, glass! Concrete steps smoothed into ripples, where they pour into sand and the swimmers step out of the town and deeper into here through the entrance of waves. Unlikely life, heading for the sun on the old man in his yellow rowing boat. For the shadow's edge, immense, intimate, and streaming from hands as they dive between the sun and the cold weight of cliffs.
Let the swimmer imagine an apple, a cork, a salver wobbling out of sight, their father's voice, the way she blew her nose, the name of a field or alley where they played, a blue stone in the shape of a heart, a tin foil galleon, a raindrop, a snowflake, a fish resisting the barbs of a lure, a kiss, hands, the night of lost earrings. Reach for them. They will evade your touch, perfect your stroke as you reach beyond reach. First time I floated on my own <clears throat> was with my dad at the Hydro, an open air swimming pool on the back of Hale. But I can just remember being in the corner of the swimming pool. It was a bright day. I could see the patterns of the light on the water underneath me. And he reached me out into the water and just took his hands away. And there seemed to be oh, five, six feet of water underneath me. And I can just remember him just looking at me and smiling and then, uh, it's so strange to be doing the same thing now. Thirty-seven years old, maybe thirty-eight years old. Looking down at my feet, seeing the sandy floor beneath. And such a Happy moment, exciting, thrilling. Beach chalets are small wooden stanzas in which words undress and step from the damp boards and 60 watt bulbs into colossal light, blinking, rubbing arms, lifting a little on their toes as if trying to see over the cold, ready as they will never be for the body to speak itself again for the first time in the mouth of the North Sea. The body like a bell note struck by an iron key, wordless in a furl of murk, weed, someone's foot and up, shouting, turnstones overhead, the Hispaniola rocking by, treading water back into now, rooted 
in all the strange words. Children, parents, in hands that have held and let go, swimmers in song. If you do, I'll give you two, I'll give you two, I'll give you two. If you do, I'll give you two, I will give you two. Let me go into the sea, into the sea, into the sea. Let me go into the sea, and I will give you three. Three wishes, if I let you go. Yes. Okay. So the man let the fish go into the sea, and he went home.